Guys, 2018 has been the craziest year of my life, by far. And for most of that time, I've been away from social media and haven't really shared too much with you guys. So today, I'm gonna give you guys my 2018, the director's cut behind the scenes of what happened this year. Now, real quick before we get into this, I'm just gonna let you guys know right now, I had to censor some of the people's faces and voices that I'm gonna be talking about in this video. I did this for their privacy and safety, my privacy and safety, then I'm not really going to be able to make more videos like this. And I really want to make more videos like this. So respect these people's privacy, respect my privacy. And yeah, let's get into this. Let me tell you something, guys. Up until this year, I haven't really had to face a lot of curveballs, a lot of situations that I didn't really see coming in life. And my 2018 did not start slow. On January 1st, I woke up to this. That's what he's talking about. That's what I told you to come out with. No today. What do you mean? The other day, when I was in the back. I told you to get the My roommate Faze Cheo, who you see here, is having an argument with one of our friends. It turned out that one of our good friends that we had let live with us was lying to us and stealing to us for the past year. Over the course of the year that we had known him, he'd stole everything from shoes to clothes uh, to money from us. And, he, and it turned out that he had been lying to our face about who he was and what he was doing since the day we met him. He had also told us that he started to get addicted to some really, really crazy drugs, and he was clearly having an episode. We ended up calling an ambulance, uh, and they brought him somewhere where he could get help. He's still recovering to this day. And uh, I was very close to this person, so this situation had me effed up for a while. But hey, it was only my first day of 2018. It can't get any crazier than that, right? Anyway, this is what I looked like at the beginning of 2018. Ooh, man, looking pretty good. I had long hair on the top of my head that I'd get braided every couple days by this girl named Shelby. And I originally got the hairstyle from my roommate, Tommy. He started getting his hair braided. And at the time, I was growing my hair out too. So one day, he took me along to get my hair braided, and I loved it. I was starting to get better at basketball too. Me and Norton were waking up every morning at 7 to go train, play basketball. We'd be at the gym anywhere from 2 to 4 hours every single day, putting in the work. And we were really starting to see progress. On January 13th, I took a jet ski all the way from Newport to Catalina Island. I was on the jet ski for a total of four hours. Kind of a stupid idea, but I felt like I should share it with you guys. We used to go hard with the jet skis, I'm not gonna lie. Now at the time, besides me, Norton, Tico, and Cheo, all of my other best friends, all of my other phase friends had just moved into a new house in Hollywood. And every couple days, I'd make the long trip from Newport all the way up to North Hollywood to go kick it with my friends. Where to hide? Probably can't fit in that. Oh man, this gunky sh sh <laughs> Oh sh Stand in the same spot. Seventy-nine percent homosexual. Seventy-nine percent of me wants to right now. The other twenty-one percent does not. Twenty-one percent of me doesn't. You are gay. Seventy-nine percent. Yes, I agree with you. I really wish we had more footage of the things that happened in this house. Let me tell you, this house was a crazy time in my life. Now, fast forward to February 20th. On this day, I woke up thinking everything was going to be normal. Me and my bros were getting ready to film a soccer video for the Phase Clan channel. Uh, we drove out started playing and I ended up breaking my leg. I knew it was broken instantly, not by the pain, but by the fact that I literally could not move my leg and it was just sort of hanging off the bottom of my leg. They ended up having to cut the shoe off of my foot. They gave me a cast and for the next couple months I was on my ass. It took a long time for me to cover from that mentally and physically, but I had family and friends around to help me through it. And hey, looking back at it, I feel stronger than ever. Right before I broke my leg, we had decided that we were gonna move into a new place. We found a nice spot up in Calabasas, which was on the complete other side of LA. And we made the move 
moved from our house in Newport all the way out there. I really got to give my bros credit on this one. I didn't have to do a single thing in the whole moving process, mainly because I couldn't. My leg was kind of broken, but they hooked it up. They packed all my stuff and they helped me move everything into the new house. The phase house had shrank from about eight people uh, to us four. I love these guys, man. I'm still living with them today and I hope that we get to live together for the next couple years. Seriously, there's not a better group of guys that I'd rather be with. Guys, I got to pause for a second to give myself a pat on the back. Looking back at it, I'm really impressed in myself and, and proud of myself with my work ethic. Even though my leg was broken, I was in physical therapy, I was taking painkillers to manage the pain. I was so committed and so driven to create music and to get better at my craft. A lot of people don't know this, but for the last few months of 2017, and I'd say the first half of 2018, I was busting my ass in the studio. I spent at least four out of the seven days a week, if not five, six days a week in the studio, 12 hour sessions, grinding, just creating. And because I broke my leg for a lot of this time, I was going into the studio with my crutches and looking back on it, I'm just super, super proud of myself uh, for what I, I did during that time uh, with all the obstacles that were going against me. A lot of the music that I was creating at the time uh, would end up being the music that I'm going to be dropping this year in February. Ooh, I am excited. On March 24th, almost a month after my accident, I took my very first steps. Well, not my very first steps, but it was the first time I'd been able to stand and walk on my own two feet in over a month. One of the best feelings I've ever had. Felt good. And after a couple more weeks of physical therapy, fast forward to May 8th, which was the first day that I played basketball again. I still had a long way to go to get back to where I was at the beginning of the year before I broke my leg. But man, getting back on the court, shooting a ball again, felt really good. Felt awesome. June 7th was one of my favorite days of the year by far. On that day, our little friend Sky came into our lives. Sky's a Siberian Husky, and, and he's about the cutest puppy I've ever seen in my entire life. He was so small when we first got him, and over the rest of the year, uh, I'd watch him grow into the dog that he is today. Kind of cool seeing a dog grow from being a little dog to a big dog. I'm so glad this little guy's in my life. He's literally just happy every single day. Since he arrived here at the Faze house, he's made everybody's lives better, just by being himself. During the beginning of 2018, Fortnite was on its way to becoming the most popular game of all time, and Faze was heavily invested in Fortnite. We had picked up a couple of professional players, a couple people who were really entertaining. And on June 12th, I met up to meet with some of those guys, Scissors, Tifu, J.O. Mock, Cloak, and a bunch of other phase guys who were at the first big Fortnite land tournament. It was great energy, great vibes. And all these guys that you see in this picture are still on the team today. I spent a big part of 2018 thinking about this girl right here. I fell in love with her, and even though things didn't work out, I still cherish a lot of the memories that we made together. And from time to time, I still think about what could have been. All in all, I'm super stoked that I met this girl. She inspired a lot of the music that I was making at the time, too. Listen, quick message for all those guys out there that are going through a heartbreak or a breakup, whatever it may be. Listen, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Trust me. On September 7th, 2018, Mac Miller died. Now, sadly, I never knew Mac Miller personally. Uh, I met him one time at the Rockstar Gaming offices in New York uh, where we played Grand Theft Auto V together. But for some reason, his death hit me really, really hard, whether it was because I was a huge fan of his music and I wasn't get, ever going to get a new album from him or because I was going through a lot of emotional stuff with my close family. But I mourned for his death. I was really down during this time and literally all I wanted to do was make music. I, I didn't really hang out with my friends as much. I just stayed in my room, just listened to old Mac Miller songs and I try to get inspired, make my own songs. This phase lasted for about a week or two, and then I snapped out of it. Just wanted to say rest in peace, Mac Miller. Shout out to all of his uh, fans and his family. That was the biggest loss of 2018 for me. And after that, the rest of my year was pretty good. I was having fun working every day, getting my physical strength up after breaking my leg. I hung out with my roommates and my other FaZe friends a lot. Flew to Las Vegas in a private jet for a Fortnite tournament and won with my friend FaZe K and survived a fire that almost burned down our whole city. I spent my very last day of 2019 with the person that I bonded with the most this year, this guy right here. He'll agree with me that all in all, even though this was one of the toughest years of our lives, we learned a lot and we're stronger than ever. As for 2019, I don't want to speak on it. I'm going to let my actions speak for themselves. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, as always, smash that like button. Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.